hostage crisis in hydroponics ended peacefully after the human pathfinder negotiated an agreement between protesters and Nexus officials. Tensions reached a boiling point after protesters complained their families were being kept in stasis in favor of sleepers with political connections. This is HNS. This is not good. Damned exiles. Oi, Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Why is that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for the outposts you've started was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. It would be nice if the people you banish would just mind their own business, but they never do. Funny thing. People you kill mind their own business. And then it's super easy to take back what they took. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. Good you're here. Done briefed you. Sick person loose on the station is bad enough. I wish that's all there was to it. Before we left, my med tech Charlie helped his aunt sign on to the initiative program. He cheated the screening process? Yeah, she has TH314. Deadly, highly contagious in the latter stages and jumps across species. It was dormant, but flared up when Charlie woke her. He just assumed it was stasis sickness. There's no cure, no vaccine. It's deadly in its final stage and she's off grid. She's a problem. What should I know about this TH314? Stage 1 symptoms are similar to stasis sickness, which is what fooled Charlie. Stage 2 is marked by extreme bouts of paranoia. It becomes virulently contagious at stage 3. Airborne, the works. Is anyone else infected? No one so far. According to the test results I received after Charlie left, she's still in stage 1. If she progresses to stage 3, Ryder, it'll be bad. It's a rare disease, but the kind that starts pandemics. Any idea where he's gone? Not long ago, he was assigned to an Apex unit for a mission. Incommunicado at the moment. Charlie had no idea the virus would flare up after stasis. Virology isn't his specialty. She's his only relative. Even so, he should have known better. We need to make sure she's brought in and no one else is infected. I want to put her well-being above all else, but we have to consider the implications. Making sure TH314 doesn't spread is the top priority, no matter what. This one isn't going to be easy. Anything else I need to know? Be quick, but discreet. We can't panic the entire station over this. I only have a whole space station to search. Discreetly. Check. Could be worse. She could be off station and potentially infecting the Angara. Try customs first. Even with fake medical clearance, she had to go through there like anyone else. Dr. Carlyle has granted me access to Ruth Becker's profile. The file includes her physical description. That'll be useful. Thanks, Sam. Stopped an unauthorized shipment to Kadara. Important stuff. Damn. Rations, tools, power cells, you name it. Corresponds with inventory discrepancies. Someone stealing and storing supplies around Nexus and Hyperion for delivery to the exiles. If you could keep an eye out for suspicious or out of place packages, I'd appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. Great. Stolen supplies haven't been processed for release, so Sam should be able to detect them. Name? Scott Ryder. 
Hi, welcome to the Nexus. Let me check the database and... Wait, you're already approved. And you're a Pathfinder. Um... Uh, hi? Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. Have you seen Ruth Becker? Yes, I have. Why are you asking? She's a friend. I wanted to check on her before I head back out. Of course I can help. She said she wanted to catch up with friends. Now let me see. Yes, Ruth Becker. Tried to set me up with her nephew. It was cute. Anything else that you can remember? I restricted her access to the common area because there were problems with her file. I sorted things out, then messaged her to let her know she was clear. Thank you. Restricted access, huh? Sam, can you do anything with that? Yes. I believe I can help you retrace her steps, at least during that time. Pathfinder, I've integrated Ruth Becker's biological signature with the location data. You can now use your scanner to trace her movements throughout the commons. Excellent, Sam. Ruth Becker was here, Pathfinder. You can trace her with your scanner. I don't know about these Angara. Authorities continue work. Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. These are stolen supplies. I'll alert the dock manager. Your scanner can pick up Ruth Becker's movements again. Pathfinder Rider, I need to know something from you. For power on the After a bitter fight with their collective rivals, the outcasts have now claimed control. <sighs> there you are. Looking for the meaning of life? At the bottom of a bottle? You wouldn't be the first to try. Alcohol rarely provides answers. Then why are you here? What? I can't kick back? Have fun? Lexi, you haven't touched that bottle. Because you interrupted me. What's this really about? PB thinks I don't care about the crew. That you're all just experiments to me. Do you... Is that how you think I see you? Since when do you care what PB thinks? It's not the first time someone told me that. In fact, every one of my exes said something similar. Hence why I'm taking a break from relationships. <sighs> you didn't answer my question. Is that how you think I see you? You wouldn't be moping in this bar if you only saw me as an experiment. I don't mope, but you're right. <sighs> Thank you, Ryder. I should get back. What about your wine? I'll save it for another day. Hey, has Ruth Becker been around lately? She was woken up not long ago. Ruth? Yeah, sure. She was talking to Leita earlier. Solarian. End of the bar. Hey, later, right? I'm Ryder. Dutch said you'd been talking to Ruth Becker earlier? Yeah? You're looking for Ruthie? She was here earlier. Helped me sort out some paperwork. Don't know what I would have done without her. Any idea where she might be? She mentioned checking in on a friend in arms. Terran, I think. Is everything okay? Charlie's fine, right? It would destroy her if anything happened to him. 
Everything's fine. I just need to talk to her. All right, then. Well, say hi to Ruthie for me when you see her. Have a good day. Thank you. Hello, can I help you with anything? Hi, my name's Ryder. You're Terran, right? Yeah. What's going on? I'm looking for Ruth Becker. Was she here? She was here not long ago. She didn't look so good, though. Define didn't look so good. I don't know. I'm not an expert on humans, but she was acting off, you know? She talked about keeping her nephew safe. She ran off mid-sentence. We were talking about the shuttles. Uh, maybe she went to the docks? I'll check it out. Thanks. Sam, paranoia defines stage 2 of TH314, right? Correct. The virus becomes highly contagious in stage 3. If she gets off the station... The risks of a pandemic increase greatly. Ryder, we have a problem. A shuttle was stolen after a dock worker was attacked. From the description he gave me, it was Ruth. Well, that's not good. No. She's definitely in stage two. Go speak with that dock worker. It's very bad if she got off the station. You're listening to HNS, your source for news in Helios, an independent arm of the Andromeda Initiative. Are you sure? We should really get yeah. medical to check you out. Can you tell me what happened here? I was here facing a shuttle when this woman came out of nowhere. She whacked me over the head and took the shuttle, nearly fried me taking off. Any idea where she went? Uh, I bet she didn't log a destination with control before blasting off. This is crazy. What's going on? Why would she do that? Nothing you need to worry about. Oh, good. Random person beats me about the head, but nothing to worry about. Anything else you can tell me? I blow towards the hell out of the hole when she hit me. She'll leave her radiation trail a click wide. That's good. Very good. I can work with that. Thank you. Sam, our scanners can track the shuttle's emission trail, right? Suvi confirms. Look, we can contain a colony outbreak if need be, but if she contacts an Angara... Find her, Ryder. Whatever happens, she can't land anywhere near the Angara. Then we'll have you on your way. And being an ass. Those ships were grounded for so long. Pathfinder Drac wants to see you. Ryder, I need your help with something. 
Okay, out with it. You've clearly got something on your mind. One of our botanists heart called up in a panic. A colony transport has been stolen. It's a transport. Can't you just replace it? It's not the transport. It's what's on it. Our seed vault. One of a kind. Without that vault, things get complicated. Krogan children need the nutrients in those plants to survive. Even one clutch of babies hatch before we get the stuff synthesized. The effects would be permanent. So what do you need from me? I'm gonna find those thieves and get the vault back. Be nice to have you along. Aren't the transports protected by passcodes? And how do you steal anything from a Krogan? First thing Hark checked. Looks like some old authorization codes weren't erased. He was working in the transport and stepped out for two seconds. The thieves walked right in and flew off. Of course I'm in. Whatever you need. I knew I could count on you. Hark's waiting for us at the colony on Elodin. He's tracking down the transport beacon. He'll have the location ready for us on arrival. Good. We'll find the transport track. Don't worry. I'll hold you to that, Ryder. Hey. Thanks. I owe you one. I'm not worried. You're good for it. Ambassador, I trust our people had a smooth transition to Aya. The Angara have been gracious. Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. Tan out. I've never lied to a director before. Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, Chief Diplomat for the Initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I assume you're trained for first contact diplomacy. I'm a social anthropologist with a linguistics background. Close enough for Director Tan. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. 
Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it, no matter how hard they try. If something's wrong, I need to know. Maybe you can help me fix it. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. What happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. How many of our people have they lit into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. Aside from Storvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. Think we'll see more of them. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Ambassador Riala sent me to check on you. You reported that someone in the Resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's a weird thing to say. How did he threaten you? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was the big gun he was carrying? He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. I'm not saying you're wrong, but dial it down. We're guests here. Exactly. We shouldn't have to put up with this. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters. See if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do.
Sam, what's this? A decontamination console for visitors to the med center. Touch the start pad to use it. Ryder. I detect the infrared dye Sorvis Len used to mark the person who threatened him. That's our man. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology for what I said to him. I only have one side of the story. Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Try me. Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal. Time of change. It worked well. Until now. You lost someone you cared about. Was it because of the Vassal? That's one way to see it. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out I was angry, said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. He thinks you want him dead. Tell him what you just told me, and let's move on. Thought I was clear the first time. Maybe his translator malfunctioned. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand, nothing is free for us. Good to see you. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal? The Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angar are selling their slots to come here, so our people can stay in their place. Including a member of the Angaran resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. We could let Angara who give up their slots live on the Nexus. It's safer than Vold. Exactly what I was thinking. No one should suffer on our behalf. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll forward your proposal to Director Tan immediately. That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. Pathfinder, Ambassador Riala didn't think you'd have time for me. She said you needed to talk before agreeing to live on the Nexus. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm an anthropologist, but I've only ever studied my own people. I've heard the Nexus is home to multiple species and cultures. It would be fascinating and possibly dangerous. Bacteria, viruses, other contaminants. My family worries about me. Are you sure I'll be safe? 
They wouldn't let me on Aya if I was a walking Petri dish, would they? You aren't taking this seriously enough to satisfy my family. I can't go without their blessing. I'm sorry. You're one of Ambassador Riala's candidates to live on the Nexus. I am. Glad you finally showed up. Let's get down to it. I've lived my whole life wanting to meet aliens who didn't want me dead. But my family's here. How can I stay in touch with them from the Nexus? You can send messages, talk to them on the comm. We'll even arrange a visit. You get it. All right. I'm in. Ambassador Riala said you're thinking of moving to the Nexus. I find her. I'm honored even to be considered for the transfer. But I won't be happy as just an observer. I want need to work. I engineer power systems. Will I be allowed employment alongside your people? That's the whole point of this exchange. The Nexus needs people like you. That's all I needed to hear. I'll have your ambassador start the transfer. Thank you. That should have come to me. Shh, Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. What's he doing here? I asked the Moshai to set up a meeting. I don't want us to be enemies. Is this true? Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. He risked his life to... Sloane Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. I want to be allies. Equal allies. <laughs> you don't even treat your own equally. Isn't that why the Krogan left? How did you... I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Axel... He didn't used to be like this. He was curious. Brilliant. But the Ket, even without exaltation, they change us. There's still time to bring him around. I want to believe that, but his hatred towards aliens. I'll prove we can be trusted. I hope so. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from EOS. Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest.
Rider. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. Suvi, play the full distress call from Prodromos. Right away. This is the initiative outpost Padromos on EOS. We're in need of assistance. Tempest, this one is for you. We've got hostiles inbound. No ground activity, but there soon will be. Pathfinder, we need you. Going dark until it's resolved. We're not giving up EOS again. Out. Could use more information than just hostiles and the worry of escalation. Could be he's worried it's not a simple attack. If someone's willing to risk attacking Padromos, your first outpost. They're trying to make a point. Keep the nav fresh. I'll be on the bridge soon. Understood. Dromos is repeating. We need a closer look. I hear that. I'm picking up something. Descent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Sorry to keep you in the dark, Pathfinder, but there are eyes on this planet. We didn't see much traffic from orbit. It's there, but hopefully you can get ahead of this before it turns into something bad. See you soon. What do I... Thanks for coming. Knew you'd be up for it. I need answers. You said there were hostiles inbound. We have soldiers. We've handled a raid or two without a sweat, but this is bigger. 4-5, repeat. Stockpile complete. Waiting for beacon. Launch on detection. Repeat. One, two, three. What am I hearing, Bradley? Here's my worry. Maybe the raids we've seen were just a decoy, so someone could do a slow tactical build-up in the Black Rock. 
Tactical? You mean military? I mean Rokar. That's why I called you instead of raising the alarm. Even with our defenses, imagine how the Nexus would respond to an assault on our first outpost. That's what the Rokar want. I'm nobody's fool. I'm sure we can check it out without drawing too much attention. You're the person for the job. I hope I'm wrong, Pathfinder. I didn't want to bring this kind of thinking to Andromeda. Head to Black Rock Tand. I'll transmit the nav point for the signal. Almost at Black Rock Tand. Ryder, there is no doubt it's a Rokar signal. Understood. Eyes open. Rokar on site! Monitoring! They'll hold some in reserve! Understood. Clear? You're clear. Still reading Bradley's signal. Right. Let's see what they were protecting. Be careful. I doubt this was about piracy. This signal can call dropships to a precise location. A Rokar strategy, Ryder. The scout would have placed the beacon in the center of Prodromos. Telling Axul exactly where to strike. Bradley, Blackrock was a Rokar scout with a homing beacon. Shit. Glad you put an end to that. I'm not walking away. This is my house. Not sure what you're asking, Pathfinder. We can't risk our first outpost. Not like the first two. 
promise and resilience. What are you planning? If they want to attack an outpost, we'll use their beacon and let them. Then finish the job. The Kamarae at Site 2 is still intact. You could broadcast from there. Everyone get that? Rokar welcoming party at Site 2. <laughs> Target's down. I think that's it. Sam, you have a location for this Rokar beacon? Yes, Pathfinder. Site 2 communications array. Well, let's not keep Axul waiting. <laughs> Nav point marked for Rokar signal upload. Be ready. It'll draw them right to you. We know this place. They don't. And they won't. Starting Rokar signal upload. Now might be a good time to take cover. Human, I told you you'd know soon enough. The beacon is live. You couldn't stop our scouts. They fought it. Hold it till they're on the ground. Holding. Big guy, but 
I don't think that would have changed this. <laughs> Depends on the Krogan. Up the pressure. Where are they going? I'll tell you. Site 1. We overcharge the power relay to draw them in. Axul's not going to be happy about that. Promise? Almost, Pathfinder. We owe you. Again. Pathfinder? The Rokar attack is over. Our military personnel were chafing at the bit. Better to get them patrolling so this never happens again. Special thanks to our friend Jal. It helps to show we're not all on opposite sides.
We can't assume anyone could be an enemy. That's no way to live. We're not planning on it. How's the team holding up? They know the drill, but it's different when it's home. Maybe I should say something? If you like. Time and time again, you've shown yourselves competent, and this was no exception. The infrastructure you've built, the skills you've developed, despite adversity, you remain a model for the cluster. So, when do we get back to work? No approval asked or expected. We lose sometimes, but if they have the choice to keep going, they'll take it. This wasn't a good day, but it was another day. You gave them that. Your people, Ryder. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmo. All clear. Maybe I'm foolish. Maybe I'm blind. Thinking I can see through this. See what's behind. Got no way to prove it. So maybe I'm lying. No way this is home. Oh! That's why I'm here. Exploring the unknown. Who are these guys? Visitors just like us. Get her on the shuttle now! Uh, uh, nice work, kid. I'm only Arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity.